Researchers are reporting a sharp increase in young adults in Canada and the U.S. being diagnosed with colorectal cancer. The new numbers from the American Cancer Society show that cases among people under the age of 55 have nearly doubled compared to rates from 30 years ago. They now account for 20% of all cases. For a closer look at what's happening, clinical oncology pharmacist Tom McFarland joins us now from Waterloo. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Let's start with this. So the Canadian study that was published a few years ago, back in 2019, found incidence of colorectal cancer in young adults increased by about 31% from 2006 to 2015. So do we know why at this point more young adults are being diagnosed? So the short answer is we don't know exactly why. There have been some, certainly some uh, things that have been postulated. There's uh, obviously lifestyle factors that could be uh, implicated here, uh, and but well, by lifestyle factors I mean obesity, uh, poor diet, alcohol intake, and so forth. But those increase the risk for pretty much everybody. So there's something that is happening that is not entirely clear. There are, uh, it's probably a multifactorial thing. There are probably some combination of risk factors that are yet to be determined that researchers haven't found yet. Right, and hopefully, again, that, as that continues and progresses over the next few years. Um, we, we talk about screening, though, and we know that when it comes to screening, it typically isn't recommended until a patient turns 50. Because of that, when younger Canadians do report symptoms, what are the challenges that some of them might face, at least because of their age? Well, I think actually the challenge that we run into more often than not with younger patients is that they ignore the symptoms because they don't think that it's likely going to be colorectal cancer that are causing these symptoms. And so I think one thing that we need to do is make sure that people, younger people are aware of the red flags that they, that they should report to their physicians. So that includes things like um, blood in the stool. That includes things like unusual shaped stools or changes in bowel habits where you have diarrhea or constipation for a period of a couple of weeks when you never had it before. And also severe fatigue that can't be explained in any other way. So we need to make sure that these younger patients are aware of these and report them to doctors. As far as screening is concerned, we don't really have evidence to change our screening policies at this point. We usually base those on epidemiologic data that shows us or, or screening data that shows us that it's cost effective and that it's useful. We don't have that in younger patients yet. And the reason for that is because these are still a fairly low number of the overall cases that we're seeing, even though we're seeing this sort of rapid rise. Is that going to change in the future? I guess it depends on what the trends are, but it's possible that we need to revisit it if we start to see, if we see these, these rates continue to rise. However, for now, we're still recommending um, the screening to be done in patients 50 and over. Yeah, okay, and, and I know too, the pandemic has created a backlog too when it comes to screening, but I wanna follow up on one thing with you, Tom, too, is about not acknowledging those symptoms and going to their doctors. Are we seeing as a result that when the cancer is discovered that it's much further along as a result? Yes, that's the, absolutely the risk. And so if you have a younger patient who isn't, who, who ignores symptoms, the cancer will progress, potentially progress to the point where it's at a higher stage. And at that point, it's much more difficult to treat. So what we want to do, you know, in terms of prevention in this group for now, is make sure people are aware that if they have these symptoms, they need to report them. Because if we can catch the cancer early, it can be much more successfully treated. And again, for you too, and I just want to just briefly before I let you go, uh, is not updating screening yet at this point, it will take some more research to determine that? That's correct. Um, it, like I said, we may need to revisit this and, and talk about it if we continue to see these cases rise in the younger adult population. But for now, screening is still uh, recommended for patients 50 and over, as well as you can do screening at a younger age if you have a close relative that has colorectal cancer. That is still recommended. Some good information. Don't ignore those signs from your body. Tom McFarland, appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.